and then he looks at me, almost as he anticipated my next move. I asked your brother if he was playing it, and he said no, and I know, I know that you never go behind my back and then lie about it because <laughs> then I'd have to beat you. So I'm gonna ask you again, do you have the Game Boy? I've made a good bit of stories about my mom, and I've accurately described her as someone who does not mess around. My mom is strict, but she's consistent. Like, she's a constant level of hostile. You know, there's a low ceiling of things you can get away with. She's one of those parents where if you tell her a messed up joke, it turns into a backhand and a lecture. My dad, on the other hand, is a basic stock cool dad. You know, chill, tells lame jokes, doesn't really care about what you do as long as you don't kill anyone or get them pregnant. He's the chill parent. But if you make him mad, his level of hostile nearly triples that of my mom's. And, you know, he's a grown man. I'll, uh, I'll let you connect those dots. However, it's a lot harder to anger him than it is to anger my mom. But if there's one way to almost guarantee a beating with the rage of a thousand sons, it's lying. And I lied quite a bit as a kid. This took place a long time ago. Honestly, I have no clue how old it was, but this was back in primary school. Now, we didn't have school buses, so after class, all of the kids would go into this theater room and wait for their parents to walk in and pick them up. And while we waited, kids would play with Game Boys to help pass the time. Now, I had just gotten one for my birthday, but my mom made it very clear that she did not want me taking it to school, but like, the only point of getting a Game Boy in the first place is to play it outside of the house. Like, why would I play with a Game Boy in the same room as my Xbox 360? Like, what do I look like playing Tetris next to a machine that can literally run Black Ops 2? So, needless to say, I had to find a way to get my Game Boy to school. And best believe, I had a plan. Okay, so my mom and dad both have very busy schedules. They take me to school, but my aunt takes me from school. So I come up with a three-phase plan. So phase one, while I'm getting ready for school, I grab my Game Boy, put it in my book bag, not my pocket, because that's too bulky and noticeable. Rookie mistake. Next, I dash to my dad's car and we drive to school. Boom. Phase two. When the school day ends, I'll be in the theater room on my Game Boy. I'll occasionally glance up to check on my aunt, and when I see her, I'll shove the game into my bag because you already know how I feel about pockets. Now for the hard part, phase three. When my aunt takes me home, I need to run to the living room, take the game out of my bag, and put it on the charger before anyone walks in the house and saves me. Man, this plan is airtight, full proof. I'm like a blind guy taking on a flashbang, boom! Invincible. So my mom leaves for work and my dad gets ready to drive me to school So I quickly stuff my Game Boy into my book bag and get into the car fast forward to the end of the school day and bam I'm in the theater room with my Game Boy. This was such a perfect plan foolproof blind guy flashbang now, while I'm playing, I'm glancing up at the door every once in a while waiting for my aunt to show up. So I'm playing and playing until I look up and I see my dad. I, I, I look up and I see my dad walk into the theater room. This, this was not part of the plan. Blind guy, live grenade. I get startled and I drop the Game Boy. He looks over at me, but I grab the game with the swiftness and put it in my pocket. So my dad gets me and as we're walking in the hallway, I'm thinking, I can, I can still get away with this. Maybe you didn't see everything. Maybe the blind guy- Johannes, did you take that Game Boy? That sentence brings instant shivers down my spine. I can feel my dad's hostile aura just fill the room. I can't even look him in the eyes. I let out a sigh of defeat. I open my mouth and say, nah, I didn't take the Game Boy. That's right. My plan wasn't over yet. I can still get out of this. All I have to do is rush to the house when we get home and give the game to my brother so he can say he was playing it. My dad says, no, you didn't. Because when I got home from my lunch break, I noticed that the Game Boy wasn't there. And then he looks at me, almost as he anticipated my next move. I asked your brother if he was playing it, and he said no. And I know, I know that you never go behind my back and then lie about it, because <laughs> then I'd have to beat you. So I'm going to ask you again, do you have the Game Boy? He's got me. He's gonna find the Game Boy in my pocket. What do I say? Uh, it's my friend's Game Boy. Mom said I could take it. It was an entanglement. Uh, uh, wait, wait, I got it. I think of a foolproof lie that is 
guaranteed to get me out of this. But before I could even open my mouth to say it, his eyes glance down to my right pocket. He takes his hand off my shoulder and then looks back up at me. But now his eyes are staring into my soul. I know that he knows that I know that he saw the Game Boy bulging out of my pocket. What's in your pocket? He says as he's clearly staring at my right front pocket in a final attempt to not get caught. I tried to get smart and reach into my left pocket and hand him the pencil that was in your right pocket, Johannes. I reach into my right pocket. I grab the Game Boy and he snatches it. Johannes, you lied to me multiple times. I thought I raised you better than this. He starts ranting and at this point, at this point, I should have just shut up. I already got caught, but I decided to open my mouth. I look at him. This is a true story. This is verbatim what I said to my dad that day. Oh, I didn't realize I was in my pocket. I wore these pants yesterday. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. He hands the Game Boy back to me, calls my mom, and tells her about the Game Boy that I accidentally left in my pocket. Yo. Yo, it worked! <laughs> what? I let out a sigh of relief. I... I won. I did it. We walk to the parking lot while my dad's still on the phone with my mom. She says something that I can't understand, to which he replies, Oh yeah, I'm beating him when we get to the car. He says as he presses the key to lock the door that I just tried to open. <laughs> Yo. That was evil. He did not have to hand me the game back like that, yo. <laughs> yeah, I got beat that day. Don't lie to your parents, kids. Just don't. Unless you have a foolproof plan. Blash bang, blind guy. Like, bitch, I'm touching up my dick and I got money stretching monkey D on my funds. Throwing coon out, then I now run so right. Bitch, I'm gonna be big as a titan and I'm going harder. Hockey is high, saber flowing, and the wind is blowing with the darkness going. It feels good to win like it. Uh, yeah, I be in the sky like it's bison. No one keep a trap on me with no vice. Full so clean, man. I swear I use lights all my money long. That shit look like a python. If you want smoke, then I'm bringing a light on. <laughs> Hey, I'd rather shoot you cause I'm not a fighter I'm not nice, if you wanna fight, that shit's something right I got bad aim, so when I up that chopper, I shoot twice bah, 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 bah. Wait, my bad, that was four of them I got excited, so I started pouring them I can go into the trunk and get more of them Bitch, bitch, I'm a man I be flying, and I pop like these hands I be quiet cause we meet in the friends I feel smarter than the six figure set You hear question, can you ask him again? Bitch, he wanted just to jump out our trance Made a deal, so I just took off a rent Bitch, you dark cause we not common to win Niggas not Go ahead and pack out a van Finna smock it like a motherfucker pissing Niggas always hate it, but they still listen I am never stopping, turn on my vision But don't get me started, I will look nice if you wanna fight That is something like I got bad aim So when I shoot that chopper Aw, oh, damn